Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but um, I've just been wanting to do a video for a while focusing on model trains and my own collection. And with Christmas season coming up, I feel like this is the most appropriate time. This video is unscripted, so it's probably going to be crap. Um, I've been into model trains for a long time. That's partially how I got into real trains with, you know, I often watch the I Love Toy Train series and which is an you know an innocent series of videos um, it's always so model trains are a big part to me but ironically I didn't really start collecting model trains till I was about in sixth grade when I was a kid I played with the uh, Wood and Thomas trains and um, you know when I was a kid you know I used to when I first built my layout you know I was already into heavily into filming so stuff so I often filmed a lot with of the cameras I had, which is, you know, at the time was an iPod. Some of the footage here is on my iPod and my cell phone, my old cell phone, which I'm not showing you any of that crap. But, um, yeah, this is, it's all, model trains have always been, meant a lot to me in my own, own years, and, um, yeah, I figured, I haven't really done many model train videos. I mean, I've done a few, and they've been very well on my channel, and I've got, like, ton, I, crap ton of model railway footage so I figured why don't I show you my model train collection now before I begin uh, let me make one thing clear I am only talking about my O scale collection stuff in this video so my H O scale and G scale stuff will not be touched they might be touched in a later video but uh, for now today is only the O scale stuff the first engine we're starting with is a um, Ford, the 490. Um, it doesn't really have a name. I think it's New York Central, but I'm not sure. It was made by Lionel. I don't know the year, but it uh, had to have been the 80s because um, this train belonged to my mother when she was a little girl. And so I happened to have it when the layout was first built. Uh, I don't really have much footage of it. And uh, the biggest problem with it, it doesn't really run nowadays because it bumps on the track. So it derails very easily, and lately, whenever I've been running it, the gears have been getting jammed, so I think it needs to go in for an overhaul. Nonetheless, it always has meant a lot to me, and, you know, it is a shame that I don't get to use it much anymore. Now this next engine coming up is quite possibly my favorite engine of my entire fleet. It's a little blue tank engine, but unlike the famous little blue tank engine we all know and love, instead of having six small wheels, it has four, and instead of having the number one on its side, it has the number 8512, as well as a Santa Fe logo. Santa Fe 8512 is another Lionel engine, and as mentioned earlier, it's quite possibly my favorite engine of the fleet. It was the second engine I bought, and I got it without a track or transformer, but luckily I already had a track and a transformer with me. Um, this one ran, what made it, you know, my favorite already was the fact that it ran a lot better than um, the other one, 490, but also it just, there was something about it. It could also run backwards, that was another thing about it. It's the only DC engine in my fleet, which makes it kind of unique, and, um, yeah, it was, it's a very strong engine. So, it's a, yeah, it's a very strong for a small engine. And I'm trying to think of other things to say about it besides that. Well, it's also blue, which is my favorite color, if you guys haven't been able to tell already. And, uh, yeah, that's just about all I have to say for this wonderful little engine. Also, one more thing that I want to bring up is that this train is currently up at my house and it's uh, being used for my Christmas tree, though it's not working well, but I hope I can get it to work well soon. This next engine was definitely a crown jewel of my layout. Grand Trunk Western 8042. This locomotive was unique in its own way because unlike the other locomotives, um, this one was made out of die-cast metal. 
This one was very heavy when I got it. I received it as a Christmas gift from my grandpa. It's another Rhino engine. It had a operating headlight. I think it had an operating smokestack. I'm not quite sure. And, uh, yeah, it was the only tender engine of my fleet at that time because the 490 did not have a tender when I found it. So, yeah, it was definitely a very nice looking engine. Um, it served well too. It was the strongest engine in my fleet and it could pull really heavy trains. But, um, and it, it served a whole two years on my layout before, uh, my grandpa, like, um, noticed it, it was, it was starting to perform less well, and my grandpa was like, look, um, took out one of the gears and looked under the microscope, finding that the gears had worn out, and, um, yeah, he dismantled the engine, and, um, stayed dismantled for quite a while, until maybe a year or two, and then I reassembled it for, um, cosmetically, it's not mechanically operating, and it's currently on display next, uh, next to the rails. Um, what, I do plan to run it again, but I don't know when it's gonna happen.